All right, time to work on the battery box. So, I think I'll put it right underneath the panel, power wall. All right, so what do we got to do here? We got to make a box that's got to fit 16 of these Trojan batteries. So I only have eight right now, but probably going to get some more. So I want to be able to fit 16 of them in here. And the next thing is, I want to be able to get to, like stand here and be able to reach everything on this wall. So I don't want to have to be standing way back here and have to like lean over it too much. I mean, it'd be nice to get up really close, but. So I think I'm going to set it to, you know, not more than about right here. It's pretty comfortable right here. So that's number two. And third, it's got to be strong enough to probably sit or stand on, because somebody's going to sit or stand on it eventually. At least one person, maybe two or three. And then I want to make it as simple as possible so that I don't have to make a whole lot of cuts. Alright, so with that, I don't really know exactly what I want to do here. I got kind of an idea, but I think it's going to develop as I go. So let's get started and see what happens. Start by building a base. <clears throat> These batteries weigh 118 pounds each. So with 16 of them on there, I want to have a good strong base. So I think I'll just put down three 2x4s. Eight footers. One thing I always do when I go to Lowe's or you go to Home Depot, get your plywood. You can have them cut it. So I had them cut this to 22 inches for the bottom. And that leaves 26 inches for the lid. That I'll probably cut down a little bit depending on how it lines up in the. So there's the base. Goes there. Let's see how these go. So I'll put a diagram later of what I got in mind, but basically be I'll probably do it the other way around, but five, five, and three and three. So it'll be a bank on this side and a bank on this side. Each one will be 48 volts. Now I'll wire it around so that all the ends will come up in the middle. I can just tie the two positives and the two negatives and run the outputs up to the inverter. I was playing around with this this morning. I made up a, this is a test cable, one of the connectors. And I'll talk about that more later when we get to that wiring phase. But, for now I put it on there because I needed to see how high this thing's going to stand up. Because my sides are 24 inches. And it looks like that's about 24 inches. So, I'm going to have to build this side up a little bit. I think what I might do is just run a 2x4 across the top of the front here. And that way... That'll put me about an inch and a half over the top of this. I think that'll be okay. So, we'll see when we get there. For now, I'm going to cut these. I have to keep this at 24 because otherwise you end up wasting a lot of plywood. Because if you cut it more than 24, then you can't get two out of one sheet. Okay? Okay, so we're going to cut some 2 by 4s to 24. Another nice thing, you're going to get four of them out of one stick. So just, I think, one on each end. We'll do it, and one in the middle.
Alright, next up I'm going to put the front on. So that's my battery box. Basically done, not really totally done, but I didn't hinge this yet. I'm not sure if I want to hinge it. And then I'd have to have something to hold it up. Or I might just put six screws in it and unscrew it when I want to take it off. Because I'm not going to be taking it off very often. Okay. So I still have to do the venting. And I still have to run my wires up through the wall. But basically, the box is in place. It's good and strong. I got half my batteries in here. So, next up is I'm going to make all the cables and wire these up. 